Hi Cancer, welcome in and thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. If you're cross watching for a Cancer, the energies can be reversed. If the messages are not for you, check your other signs or check back next time. Thank you so much for hitting that like button as it does help support the channel. Okay, so uh, the very first message I'm getting for you, Cancer, is I feel like you guys are in the process of letting go. And I feel like you're letting go of hurt. Okay, three of swords, the full. I feel like you're also, not only are you letting go of who hurt you or what hurt you, it's you walking away from who you were when that happened because I do sense a transformation inside of you. You are not the same person that was hurt by this person or this situation. You're not the same anymore. You've transformed here, okay? And so I do see you leaving an old self behind and I do see you letting go of some type of pain or trauma here that happened to you and you're walking straight towards a new beginning. Now that full can be Aries. Me as a reader can also be Gemini or Aquarius. We have the King of Swords, Aquarius energy. But this is all about you recognizing the facts of the situation, okay? And, you know, in this King of Swords here, there is this bird that is soaring high and free, okay? So I feel like that's the energy you're falling into, kind of just being real with yourself and knowing the facts. It's very beneficial for this, okay? Because the King of Swords, he knows the facts, and he listens to the facts, and he's very intelligent, okay, and logical. And so I feel like there is possibly some type of truth that may hurt you at first or did hurt you in the past, but it's kind of setting you free, the truth setting you free here from some sort of mental cage, okay? Um <laughs> That's my cats, if you can hear that, guys. They're fine. They're playing. They play really rough sometimes. Um, but this is you, the truth setting you free. Okay? Whether somebody here told you the truth with the King of Swords, or this is just you recognizing it. We have the Lovers, which is Gemini energy. But I also feel like this is you coming into alignment with your passion. I feel like there's something here, this new adventure you're walking towards. For some of you guys, it can actually be a lover that you are walking towards. Now, this is all energy, so take what resonates. But I feel like for a lot of you Cancers, you're walking straight towards a passion of yours, okay? Something that makes you feel fulfilled, and it's a new beginning of some kind. And I'm getting... um I'm getting the image of a bee, and so bees are industrious. Bees, uh, it's a very lucky omen. It talks about uh, a sweet victory, and so I feel like there could be a passion of yours. I feel like there's a passion of yours, Cancer, that if you were to build upon this passion, you will be creating your own luck, and it's going to be victorious is what I'm getting. Yeah, look, two of cups. This is all about you coming into alignment in the present moment. You're coming into alignment with whatever it is you're wanting for yourself, whatever you've been trying to manifest. We have the high priestess, okay? This is about you being empowered. This is Pisces energy. So your intuition really being loud here, okay? I feel like you're more capable in the present moment to listen to your intuition and trust it, okay? Especially whatever this Three of Swords was that happened in the past and the truth that set you free from the situation of the past. But presently, you are coming into alignment with your power, with your psychic abilities, okay? Which talk, you know, psychic abilities is also, you know, your intuition, your inner knowing, there's a lot of wisdom here, and I feel like any sort of gut reactions towards people, places, 
or things, you really need to listen to those gut reactions because your intuition is on point, especially this week. Like your intuition's on point about a particular person is what I'm getting. And I'm getting chills saying that. And your intuition is on point about a particular passion. We have the Queen of Swords. This is more power in the future. For some of you guys, specifically, if you are working towards a promotion, I do see you receiving that promotion. I do see those of you who are seeking employment of, you know, a higher status employment. I see you receiving that. I see you coming into alignment with it. But it does require action. I just saw the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Now, the Queen of Swords can be Libra energy. But this is all, about, and it's interesting that we have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So both of these energies acknowledge the facts. And both of these energies really say what needs to be said. So I do feel like there's this energy of you being direct with people in your life in the future, or there's a need to be direct. Then we have the Knight of Wands, which in this particular deck, it talks about impulsiveness. That's Sagittarius energy. And then we have the Star, Aquarius energy. Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords, talks about betrayal. So again, there's somebody here in your past, or there's a situation in your past that really hurts you. You felt betrayed by this person or by this situation. And I see you becoming a new person from that situation, like being able to let the hurt go and also let go of this old version of yourself, who you were when you were hurt. And you're coming into alignment with your power. Now, I will say this because I see it with the King of Swords, the High Priestess, the Star. There is somebody from your past, someone that is not speaking with you, Cancer. And I do see this person wanting to impulsively jump back into your life. And I feel like it's the very person that did betray you. So that is something that I'm seeing. I'm seeing it, so I'm going to say it. But you're this different version of yourself here. Some of you guys with the full, the lovers, the queen of swords, you're entering new situations, uh, better connections here when this person does re-enter your life. And the person here that betrayed you, they're wanting to follow their heart. And their heart's telling them to come forward. But the Queen of Swords, the King of Swords, sees the truth. And it's kind of like with the Knight of Wands, this is a reminder not to act impulsively when situations from the past come back. What do I mean by that? So... This is all energy, Cancer, and now there it, it does feel like there's an old energy wanting to revisit you in the future. Whether this be a specific person or the same energy re-entering your life to help guide you, okay, through some type of lesson you possibly overlooked in the past. So just take it how it resonates. Um, do not make any impulsive decisions in the future. Um, I feel like with this Queen of Swords energy being there, really speak up for yourself. Know what you want and know that saying no is a complete sentence to anyone. Something When you don't want to do things or when something feels off and when something feels out of balance or out of alignment, do not be afraid to hold back. Do not be afraid to evaluate the situation before you say anything, right? Um, and this can be in regards to anything. But it does look like something from the past and energy jumping back into your life. But you're more so in alignment right now. And your intuition is very high. And again, you're going to be able to see red flags. You're going to be able to feel if something is off and out of, out of balance for you instantly. The Queen of Swords, she sees it. She has a clear perception of who people are. And I feel like using your intuition and using all this knowledge that you've gained from past pains is going to be very beneficial when this situation pops back into your life. Now, what's interesting to me is the star. Um, 
I do feel like this is an energy of be careful what you wish for because some of you guys may have wished for a new beginning with a particular person or situation in the past and some time has passed since you have done that you have stepped into greater power here and you have walked into alignment here this is now bringing back something from the past, something you may not even want now, but you wanted really badly in the past. And so it's like you're coming into alignment with a, a higher version of yourself. And so you will be tested. Whether it's with the same person or the same situation, or if it's with the same energy, different body. So just be very um, aware like keep your eyes open and be very aware of the energies that pop in and out of your life or the or the energies that pop into your life in the future. Now the star also talks about breaking free. It talks about freedom, personal freedom. But there is a wish of yours getting granted suddenly is mainly what I'm seeing for you. I feel like with the two of cups, there's at least in being in the middle of this reading, I feel like there's two wishes getting granted here. And it's like one wish is something you're very passionate about gets granted, but then also a wish from the past manifests here. Give me one more card, please. King of Cups. And it's all about understanding. Look at that. The Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. This is you wearing rose-colored glasses. Because in the typical Eight of Swords, she's blindfold, right? In this uh, deck, it says restriction. So letting go of desired outcomes or letting go of situations that block you or make you feel restricted is going to be beneficial for you. Now, the King of Cups, I wanted to clarify the star further. All of this is happening for your benefit. All of this is about healing and um, coming to a higher level of understanding of who we are. Okay. And understanding our emotions. Um, so just keep, remember that all this is happening for your benefit. Excuse me, Cancer. I had to clear my throat. And I feel like... I really feel like there's a conversation coming in. And this is... I'm getting, like, metaphorically speaking, clear your throat. Metaphorically, like, be ready with the Knight of Wands. Be ready for anything. And how do you be ready for anything? Well, you hone in on your power okay you know your strengths and this is all about being grounded when a particular situation arises again that's how you're going to handle it with this king of cups energy the star being aware with this high priestess of what can happen and trusting your intuition on, on what you feel to be true that's where you're going to be the most powerful, Cancer. I'm also getting there's power in silence, too. Some of you guys, there might be a situation that does not need your response. And there's this energy of you feeling the need to react impulsively. And I feel like when that starts bubbling up to the surface, the King of Cups, the star, is here to remind you to stay balanced. To stay in this uh, new self. Okay, and it's unrealistic to think that we're never going to backtrack. Okay, the Knight of Wands also backtrack. So I also feel like it's just kind of having the emotional intelligence to remain silent. But if you do something that you feel you shouldn't have done, learn the lesson, understand why it happened, understand why you were triggered, and then move on. Please. 
What else for Cancer? Let's see, wealth, okay. So I'm getting your health as well, your emotional uh, health, okay, your emotional well-being. Wealth can be meaning anything. Some of you guys, if you are coming into alignment with this passion of yours, this is a good indication that you're going to have a sweet victory here. You're going to be creating your own wealth, creating your own luck. But just keep in mind that wealth is um, different for everyone. And I do feel like there is a, a wealth of emotional intelligence in your future. And I do feel like you're going to be seen in a very high light by a lot of people in your life, Cancer, just because you are in such a, a balanced place here. I want to read this particular card here. Let's see, is this 34? It says, this is the marker of abundance and success and the achievement of a goal. It can refer to real riches and tangible results, such as money or possessions, but it can also portray a time of emotional satisfaction. It's always a reminder that all things can be attained. Know that wealth includes sharing, for this card is also a reminder to give something away to help another. Be it money, time, or anything of value, sharing will always ensure the flow of wealth. This marker is a very fortunate omen. In the bottom of the deck, it says birth and rebirth. So this is supposed to be what you're not quite seeing. Some of you guys are in the process of this rebirth. You're in the process of this transformation. And you might not even realize it. Okay, but that's why things are happening the way they're happening in your life right now. Because you are shedding old skin. The old skin, the old version of you that was hurt here in the past. This is uh, what you need to surrender. What you need to let go of. What is the message for cancer, please? Surrender defensiveness. Now, you could have Aries in your chart because I believe Aries got this message as well. But it says defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out. Then offer a clear, non-defensive response. So if you, you know, whatever this past situation that's coming back or whatever situations present themselves here now and leading into the future, this is about when you're triggered, okay, when you're feeling triggered, maybe just uh, hear someone out or just kind of take a step back before you respond, okay? Um, because there's a lot of energy here um, saying that there's power in silence and there's power and composure and handling situations with grace and I feel like that's what you're being guided with the star you're being guided to not be not be so reactive okay and again this is also talking about you know if you do happen to react and you step out of character uh, if you step out of alignment of who you are becoming or who you want to become this King Cups is also reminding you that you're human, okay? Um, don't, on, don't only be understanding of other people. Be understanding of yourself. Be kind to yourself, Cancer, because I feel like there are a lot of Cancers out there. You're the hardest person on yourself. And I feel like now, leading into the future, just be more understanding towards you. Because I do feel like a lot of you Cancers, you're so understanding of other people's actions. You, you, you're so easy going to and it feels like you do let things go okay and you give people the benefit of the doubt but there's a message here to start giving yourself the benefit of the doubt and i'm also getting yes uh there's a message here to stay composed and and emotionally balanced and to not be reactive but there's also a message here to Really allow yourself to be who you are. Really allow yourself to be direct and blunt. And you can do that in a nice way. I'm not saying be rude to people, but don't allow other people to walk all over you either. But this surrender defensiveness energy, I feel like reacting less defensive 
will make other people take you more seriously if that's something you're wanting. So you can stick up for yourself, but do it in a way that comes across as balanced and empowered. All right, Cancer, those are your messages. My goal today was to give you some nourishment for your soul. If it's not your thing, that's cool. You can check your other messages that are over on my channel. I hope this gave you some clarity. Thank you guys so much for hitting that like button. And until next time, bye.